Hello everybody, my name is Chandler, as some of you may know, obviously, <laughs> and I am Chandler Knows Best. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on something that's a little bit different, and it is called astral projection. Uh, some of you guys may know a lot about what it is, and some of you guys may be completely ignorant to the topic, and that is okay, because I am here to tell you. So, in this video, of course, I'm just going to explain to you what astral projection is. I'm going to talk to you guys about the experiences that I just had. I just had one specifically today that I want to talk to you guys about and that's why I'm like popping out of nowhere with like astral projection because I just had it today and like I need to talk about it. Um, if a lot of you guys don't believe in things like that, I mean it's not something that's really like belief based, it's not based on, I mean it's actually really factual, sleep paralysis is a thing, um, astral projection aka like an out of body experience that's a very possible thing. And some people, when they hear me explain my stories to these things in my past couple of videos, they don't really believe me. They think that I'm over-exaggerating. I'm going to warn you guys right now, I'm not a YouTuber that over-exaggerates. I hate those YouTubers who, like, one bad thing happens to them. Like, somebody accidentally nudges them or something, and they go on YouTube and they're like, oh, Story time, somebody hit me. You know, I'm not one of those YouTubers who lie like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's human nature to over-exaggerate, but I haven't over-exaggerated in the story time videos that I've made personally. I tell the complete truth. I'm just telling you guys right now that I don't make up things, I mean, what's the point? I, I mean, what, what is the point? I, I just don't understand. This, topics like these do sound a little bit unrealistic, it's something that we're not used to. Topics like these make you question religion, because you're experiencing things that not even the Bible talks about. So it's just one of those things that you're just like, okay, what's really going on? And that's why people become, that's why people get into denial really quickly. When they think of sleep paralysis, they think it's just some something that science can explain. When we think of lucid dreaming, we think it's just you know, like, there's always some science fact behind it. Science cannot explain why you get sleep paralysis at night and you start seeing these deities that you've never even seen before. Anyways, I'm going to explain to you guys what astral projection is so you have an idea on, like, what I'm going to be talking about for the rest of the video. Okay. So here's a definition. I'm not, I honestly don't really like this definition, but it'll give you, like, the main idea on what this is. Astral projection is the intentional act of having the spirit leave the body, whereas an out-of-body experience happens involuntarily, such as while dreaming or in a near-death experience. Basically, what astral projection is, is um, when your self, your spirit, whatever you want to call it, your inner self, exits your body. And there's so many different ways you can experience this. So I'm going to talk to you guys about the experience that I just had this morning. I'm going to talk to you guys a couple of past experiences that I've had and uh, yeah, let's get started. So this morning I experienced sleep paralysis and basically what had happened was, what had happened was, so I woke up and it was really dark and I, my TV was on, I accidentally left my TV on when I was sleeping and I could not move at all. Like I lost all movement in my body, of course, that's basically what sleep paralysis is. I could see on my TV Spongebob was playing, and it was the intro, you know, uh, who knows a barnacle under the sea, Spongebob Squarepants, you know, like, the beginning of the Spongebob was playing, and keep in mind, this, this, what I'm about to tell you guys is, like, extremely, like, weird, so you're gonna think that I'm crazy or something. Anyway, Spongebob was playing on my TV, and I could not move or anything, and then I actually got up, and walked to my room and I tried to walk to my door. And the minute I, I touched my doorknob, I ended up back into where I was again, like back in my bed. And that's when I realized um, that I had an out of body experience because I actually got up during sleep paralysis and was moving around for a bit and then got back to my bed. But the thing about this experience was, is that time did not exist. Time was not a thing because every, literally, I got up again and I remember going straight to my desk, like touching my desk where I'm at right now, basically. And I woke up back to where I was again in my bed. And keep in mind, when I say woke up, I don't mean like literally I was awake. It was more of just the fact that I was back to where I started again, like back to point A again. And pretty much every time I tried to do something that involved escaping my bedroom would bring me back to my bed again. It was really scary. Every time I moved around I kept waking up back. But here's the thing that is really creepy to me. It is the fact that time did not exist. It when I what I mean when I say that, when I kept waking up back in my bed, waking up, 
everything started over again. Like, everything that has happened in my bed kept happening again every time I went back to my bed, if you know what I mean. So, Spongebob was playing, and I know that time it didn't exist based on what I was seeing on the TV. Spongebob, the intro was playing. The, just the intro, you know, the intro song. And every time I'd get up, try to do something, and wake up back in my bed again, the intro would replay again, as if I was, as if time wasn't passing, as if I wasn't moving to the future, you know, by seconds, you know, it, it just kept happening over and over again. I was literally being put back in the same spot over and over again, almost like the butterfly effect or something. It's really weird. My mission was to go to my parents' room, like I was trying to leave, but then I stopped trying to leave and I decided to just look around my room. As you guys can see, I have a map right there in my room, and I was just talking to my friend about this this morning. There's this, there's this map in my room right here, and for some reason that map was not a United States map, it was a world map. And when I was looking at it, as you can see the states, um, I wanted to see if I could read the states because I was trying to test the waters and see if I could like read while I was, you know, in astral projection. And it was, I could not read the letters. In fact, the letters that are on the states were swapped and different. So if you look at Florida, for example, it would have been like Floride or something. It would have been spelled like completely different than what it was supposed to be spelled. Michigan would have been spelled with an M at first, but all the other letters were like mixed together. I could not read properly and my brain couldn't concentrate hard enough to see what was actually, to read the words that were on the map which is extremely strange to me. Um, I went back to Astro, uh, I went back to my bed again. It, like, it ca I kept swapping back to where I was again. And I still couldn't move and I was panicking, I was trying so hard. And then finally I regained, con I regained consciousness and that was actually the longest time I've ever experienced sleep paralysis. Cause sleep paralysis is something that usually lasts for like 12 seconds for some people, 20. That felt like a good 30 minutes for me. And that's why I'm creeped out because it lasted for so long. And I could feel, I could walk, I could do all those things, but every time I attempted to make effort into leaving, I ended up back to where I was again, besides the fact when I realized uh, I couldn't read on the map. And I ended up back in my bed. And it was a really weird experience. It wasn't scary, but it was weird. I didn't see any anything creepy. It was more of just the fact that every time I tried to leave, I couldn't really do anything about it. I have another experience uh, that is just like this one, and this is when I first ever experienced uh, astral projection my entire life when I was in ninth grade, and at the time I didn't even know what astral projection was, and um, at the time I just thought it was sleep paralysis and that's it, so I kind of ignored it, but now that I look back at it, I'm just like, that was astral projection. So in ninth grade, um, I've said this in my story time videos in the past about sleep paralysis, um, I... I went through this phase where I had sleep paralysis all the time and I was really depressed during that time as well. Anyways, I, every time I get sleep paralysis, I have a routine. So I get sleep paralysis, when it's over, I get up and I go to my sister's room. Because my sister's room, uh, my sister lived with us at the time. At that time, my sister lived with me and I would just go sleep with her. So I got sleep paralysis and I tried to get up and I went to walk to my sister's room. When I walked to my sister's room, and touch the doorknob, I wake up immediately back into my bed again, still with sleep paralysis. And then I run and dip to my sister's door again, touch the doorknob, wake up back to my sister's uh, to my room again. So it was like a repeating process and it gets really frustrated because every time you try to make a move, you wake up back into point A again. Like, basically, I ended up going back at least eight times. If you would have actually like seen the whole experience, you would see me running and then back to point A running back to my bed again. And then finally, when I ran, touched the doorknob, it actually opened, and that's how I knew I was awake. The very minute the door actually opened and I went into her room, that was when I was like, oh, I'm actually awake this time. And that's kind of what frustrated me because the only way I could tell if I was actually awake and in my body was when that door opened because the rest of the times it didn't even let me. So yeah, that was also a really creepy experience. And I went through this phase where I was watching documentaries and videos on other YouTubers experience and stuff and how to do it. Um, I believe there's a YouTuber named Koi something, I don't know his name, but he's amazing. I love him so much. And he talks a lot about it too and I used his methods and stuff and it really, it wouldn't really work for me. And let me tell you guys, every time I've had an out of body experience or sleep paralysis, it was unintentional, meaning I did not try to do it. 
Like, I didn't go to bed saying, oh, I'm gonna have a lucid dream tonight, or oh, I'm gonna astral project, I'm gonna try to do it. I did try to astral project, but it didn't work. Every time I've tried to do that, it just wouldn't work. But every time I have actually astral projected, it was out of the blue, and I didn't even think I was going to do it anyway. So it's almost one of those things where I have like the natural ability to do it, but I need to figure out how to trigger it. I do know how to get sleep paralysis. I do know how to trigger that specifically, but I just don't know how to do anything else, really. Lucid dreaming comes natural to me. I've been doing it since I was a kid as well. Uh, and astral projection, I mean, that's something that I literally just like recently started doing. So yeah, my experience was overall, I mean, I didn't have any scary experiences like other people. If you were expecting like something like, oh, like I traveled here, I got to spy on people and stuff. No, it wasn't all like that. But it's almost as if my astral body wouldn't let me reach my specific goal. Like the, the one story I told you about me going to my sister's room. My goal was to go to my sister's room and it wouldn't let me. My goal this morning was to leave my bedroom because I was freaked out, but I couldn't. And it's just, it was a really weird experience. It wasn't something that was, tr it was, I guess it's kind of trippy because like you keep waking up in the same place again and you start to get pissed off. But other than that, I mean, that was really it. Anyways, if you have ever astral projected, comment your stories down below. Also, I really want to hear like your sleep paralysis stories and stuff. I did make a video of me reading my uh, subscribers and my viewers' uh, sleep paralysis comments and stuff, so if you would like to be in one of my future videos, make sure you comment a nice story. Um, as far as how to deal with any of these things, if you don't know how to deal with it, honestly, my only advice to you is to just not sleep on your back. Like, And that's what happened this morning. I slept on my back. And I wouldn't have gotten it if I didn't. Um, there's other ways you can handle it too. But that's the way that I dealt with it, so yeah. If you have any methods on how you do it, or if you like, uh, if you have any advice on how to deal with things like this, then make sure you comment below and let me know because even I need a little bit of advice. I am not an expert when it comes to sleep paralysis, astral projection, or lucid dreaming. Some of this stuff, most of, pretty much all of this stuff has came natural to me, and I'm still trying to figure out how to control myself when it comes to it, so. Just let me know what you guys think, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really glad that you guys actually spent the time to pay attention to what I was saying, because that was a lot. Um, if you would like to see more of me, of course, you can add me on all my social media. My Snapchat is always Chandler, and my Instagram is Chandler Keys. That's all I have for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and subscribe. Bye.